Hello friends, uh, welcome again and this is my new project eLibrary Management System and I have developed this project in Spring Boot and uh, Angular. So on the Spring Boot side, I am using JDK 1.8, Tomcat Server and for ID, I am using Spring Boot Tool Suits 4.6. For Angular side, I am using Angular and uh, MySQL database also for Angular development, I am using Visual Studio Code, right? So they lo these all technologies I have used for developing this project eLibrary Management System, right? So this is a major project which has uh, two types of user login. The first one is admin, second one is a uh, student, right? So let's see, start with the functionality. Go through that. What are the features? What are the functionalities are available inside this project? So once you run this project, then you will get this home page, right? This is a partial bootstrap home page and this we are running on the port 4200 and uh, for uh, fr uh, backend side for uh, API side, right? We are using 8080, right? So this is a static, the above contents are static. These all categories are coming from the database through API. So these are the dynamic parts, right? So once you click on the about us page this is a static part there is nothing dynamic on it this is all categories from here you will get you will be uh, able to see all of the categories which is available in the database right so this, there are six categories available so all of the six categories are uh, displaying here if you click on the category then you will be able to see all of the categories all of the books which belongs to that category right so you can see there are two books right if you click the details you will be able to see the details of the book right again this is all books all of the book will be able to uh, you will get here right these all books are details are coming from the database if you want to search any book then just uh, enter the keyword and search and you will be able to get all of the books with uh, that search uh, keyword right okay so this is a student login from here a student can log in and a student can request for the book and this is admin login i will show you later this is a registration if you don't have user id and password then you can register from here right and using that email id and password you will be able to log inside the system this is a contact us page this is a dynamic contact us page and if you fill any of the information here then it will be displayed to the admin right so this is a feedback form and this is also a dynamic form and anything which you will enter here will be displayed to admin right so now i'm i'm going to log in as a student so user id is admit at gmail.com password is test so this is the dashboard student dashboard right so here you can see all of the categories all books my issue books my account right so now i'm going to request a book so details so here you can see request date so from i need this book from tomorrow for next week right and then i need this so i need this book for one week and once you click on the request so you're saying that uh, yeah uh, so your book issue details uh, is uh, so you will be able to see all of the books which has been issued to you with the state so all of the books which you have requested is in the pending state right so the book name issue status from date to today right so you will be able to see or track the status here right this is my account system from here you will be able to update your account details right this is a book issued all books again the same thing all categories about us right so i am going to log in as an admin first right so let me uh, see the id here so this is a uh, 313 and it's in the pending stage right if i log out and if i go to the login so there is a separate user interface for admin right so the user id is admin and password is test so this is a, a home page right uh, dashboard page for the admin right uh, so let me show you all of the things first okay so from here admin can manage all of the books right so this is a book management here you will be able to see all of the books which admin has added right so add new book here you can select a category book title call description and book image and after that that details will be saved inside a database this is a book issue all of the books which uh, 
uh, admin as it should will be displayed here so let me go to the 331 this one right and i'm changing the status pending to issued right submit now so this has been issued right and if admin want to issue a new book just click on the issue and after that he will select all of the students so these all drop downs are dynamic right so status is static only right so you can see there are some values coming in the status right so select the student select book from date to date total fine and issue descriptions right all of the details will be filled by the admin and after that he can uh save the details right this is a category management all of the category will be managed from here for the books this is a student management from here uh, all of the student will be displayed this is a student report if you want to add a new student then you can add a new student from here this is a contact us report and it's a it's a uh, so i already uh, showed you on the front end panel there was a contact us page so all of the contact us filled by uh, different students will be displayed here same for the feedback right and the logout so once you click on the logout your session will be expired and you will not be able to access the internal pieces right so these all functionalities i have developed inside this project e-library manual system as i told you earlier this is a major project developed in java spring boot angular and mysql and uh, if you need any extra functionality and any enhancement in this project just put it into the comments i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much